Okay, um, in this segment, we're going to, I'm actually going to teach you how to create um, commercial use free fonts. How to first find commercial free fonts on the internet. And we're going to start with going to Firefox. And I just like to use Firefox because um, it's just an easier application as far as I'm concerned to use. And also I like to use StartPage because StartPage is a private search engine. So, you know, I just like the comfort of not knowing everybody in the world is watching what I'm doing. Anyway, um, the first thing we're going to do to try to find commercialized fonts because not all fonts are created equal. And if you decide that you are going to get involved in doing homemade crafts, it's one thing if you're going to use it just for your family. It's something completely different if you decide that you're going to use it um, for commercial purposes. And as such, it's important that you find fonts that you can use for, for commercial purposes. And that is what this particular segment is going to be about. And so I'm going to show you from start to finish how to find a font. Just some important um, moral um, means by which you should apply those fonts as well as um, how to kind of organize those fonts so that you can use them with your silhouette or whatever other programs that you, you use for graphic design purposes. Okay, so free fonts for commercial use. And so then we're going to search free fonts for commercial use. And um, these are my favorite font font companies that I like to, to use in the order that I like to use them. The first one is 1001 fonts. And I just did this today. But the reason why I like 1001 fonts is because it's so easy to find everything you're looking for in a short period of time. Here we have free commercial fonts, and here you can find out add to favorites. You can this font is free for commercial use, and you can download all on one page. Um, you can see what the font looks like. You got the name of the font, everything you need with minimal amount of clicks. Not to mention, it gives you a wide variety of fonts. As you can see, 387 pages worth of free fonts for you to choose from. So, um, this is my favorite one. One thing I want to show you that you can um, notice as well is that some of them even offer a donate button. And this is where I say is the moral part of it. If you have people who have gone through the time of creating these fonts and you're benefiting. I mean, I know a lot of you starting out, this may be like a hobby thing. It's not a real business for you. But um, if you find that you're benefiting from it, just, you know, let them know that you're benefiting from it by donating to them. So I, I highly encourage doing that once you start getting up and running. Okay, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to select one to download. Okay, so now I'm going to select Spider Nam, and all I'm going to do is download. When I download, you see in Mozilla it gives you a blue arrow pointing down that lets you know your download has complete. Click on that arrow, and here I have my zip file. Now, the thing about zip files is that you have to extract them in order to make them useful. So, we're going to click on this little folder, and it pulls up for you my folder file and here we go the very font we're looking for and so then we're going to right click and we're going to extract all and then you just go through the menu real simple next next finish and so now you see that this has an end user legal agreement those are things that you want to look at to see how you can use them because sometimes even though something is free for commercial use there are stipulations on how they can be used for commercial use so you want to make sure that you are um, in compliance with their, um, their, their legal rules and so this indicates that you can use this for freelance graphic design work which is what you're looking for something that's going to allow you to use it for 
freelance graphic design work, which is what this is. Um, if you're still not sure, it says anything that would generate direct or indirect income. Commercial use refers to usage in a business environment, including. So it includes all of that. Um, also, you'll find that in some of these instances, um, especially if you're going to use them for websites and so forth, um, they do require that you at least give a plug-in for them, which means you give a, a their web address so that you can connect whoever likes the font back to the original owner. And I have no problem with doing that um, for commercial um, for commercial um, projects that are web-based. It can get a little tricky when you start talking about now you're doing something that is based on um, you know crafts like a tissue box you're not going to put a www dot you know some insanely long um, website on there just to give a plug in for a font but what you can do is if you do put your website down um, and you have a website and you use these different fonts and they have these different stipulations then you can actually organize your website so that it includes this particular font okay so now I'm going to show you where to go um, show you how I get there anyway if you go to my documents just click on that and you go to your search button what you're looking for is where you're going to put this font so that it can be available and accessible to you in your silhouette program as well as any other application you choose to use and what we're going to do we're going to just put in the word font under all or part and then we're going to basically if you have just a C drive that's be your C drive Mine has a C and D drive. I just click both to make sure. And then I'm going to click search. And as it searches, what you want to look for as it relates to font is you want to make sure that because I have more than one font and you may have more than one font. So you're looking for the one that allows for you to that houses all of your fonts and it's going to be a generic one like this one and this is it it's just going to say windows and this will automatically put make your font available once you put it there for anything that you want to use and so then all I have to do is I select the TT which is the true type font and I just drag it there and that font is now available and so now I no longer need this window. No longer need this window. And no longer need this window. Okay. So, again, that is my favorite company. Now, what I would recommend, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you two other companies. And I'm going to give you my pros and cons. Hankyat is the other company. And the pros especially if you are kind of challenged in the area of figuring out different ways you can design or backgrounds and graphics this company lets you up front a hundred must have free fonts for commercial and personal use so you already know that this is acceptable for for commercial use okay and it allows you to see different things you know different ways you can use it some of them just straightforward fonts but then you get to see how it's used in a graphic design and that's beneficial. My only problem with this one is that you have to click. Each one you click on, it opens up another tab or window. And then it takes you to, which was going to be my second one, in this case, Font Squirrel. Wherever this font is housed, it's going to take you there. So it's kind of like a middleman website, if you will. But then you go through all of this. You have to do all this clicking. You know, you got your test drive, your glyphs, the license, and all of this. And then you click another tab to download it. So I would personally would prefer to be able to just do it. I like the simple, being able to go to one website, get what I need at a glance, um, the pertinent information, and just download. And you'll understand that even more as you begin to really delve into doing your own works of art. That you don't want to spend a whole lot of time having to go from page to page. You don't want to have to read through a lot of information. You kind of just want to get at a glance. Look, this is what you can and cannot do and get it done. Um, so, this is, um, that's pretty much 
all right that is pretty much all I want to share on fonts just um, how you should use them making sure you're getting um, the prop appropriate type of fonts making sure you're reading through the end user um, licensing <clears throat> um, information and um, how oh you know just one more thing I'm going to show you in just a simple simplified way how you can house what you're going to use because again if someone's making this available to you the very least we can do is um, <clears throat> make sure that we are in some kind of way compensating them if you're getting compensated so morally you should feel like you you should do that so like I said if they offer donations one of the things I like this to do in silhouette every project you do has a name for its file so um, any fonts that I use and when you start getting into using fonts you'll also notice that you'll begin to do things like <clears throat> you'll um, you may use one font for the first character you may use a different font for the rest um, and so what I do is I'm I put it in categories all of my fonts that are free for commercial use I only choose those fonts when I'm doing something that's not for personal use and then I um, made a third column and the purpose of this column is once I start selling like tissue box too you know that's the file name for one of my for one of my works of art so once I sell tissue box two I can put here how many I've sold and I could put how much I um, would give them as a donation for the use of their fonts or characters and then I would put it there and by doing this I'm able to make sure that I'm compensating them as I'm getting compensated for the work they put into it and this is a real simple Thing to do you just go to Microsoft it's Microsoft Windows click on insert click on insert ta um, table and then you just choose how many um, rows you need it to have and, and then it gives you this so as you can see um, <clears throat> doing crafts is easy and um, organizing yourself is important and giving credit to whom credit is due is also important so I hope that this has helped you and this has blessed you um, and that is my segment for word art today thanks for listening bye for now